Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. We are checking out University uh, area, so it's going to be the Av, the UW College, and if we have time, we'll head down to University Village to check out the outdoor mall that's out here. So this is going to be a driving video. Just going to be driving through on kind of a rainy, cloudy day. It was uh, not the best weather, but wanted to get out and get something. So cherry blossoms are going on at UW right now. That's kind of a annual tradition for a lot of people come down to get a picture with the cherry blossoms in the square. So that's something people will be doing this week and next week. They said that the blossoms are going to be in full bloom next week, uh, but I actually already kind of did a quick tour of it and it looks like they're in bloom now. So we'll see. Uh, if you're interested in that, make sure you check out my, view, my video of going from the Ave to uh, you dive and seeing the blossoms so that'll be another video that I'll get updated as well so anyhow this is just going to be a drive through uh, I'll kind of point out anything that is something that I personally like about the Ave so there's a lot of good food places down here so Thai food Indian food euros just lots and lots of good stuff as far as food options it is basically where all the college kids go for the bars and food and stuff close to campus so probably see quite a few students when we're down here so we'll take a look and see what we find we're on 45th right now from i5 we came from i5 south so basically coming into this area this is kind of the north end of getting close to downtown seattle and this is where all the college kids are greek row it's a you typically a nicer nicer area uh wife lived over in the Wallingford area uh, which is just west of here so if you went 45th the other direction you go into Wallingford and uh, university as far as everyone's favorite late night food which you've probably heard me talk about already is Dick's and there is a Dick's over on the other side as well so coming into almost where the Ave is now I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go past the Ave head south a little bit and then pop back up and drive for like the Ave and then we'll head a little bit east and go over to UW and check that out and if we have enough time depending on how much battery I have left on this guy we will drop down to U Village and give you an idea what everything looks like maybe we can get over to the stadium as well it's kind of a big area to cover but easier to do that driving than it would be to walk it so it would probably take me two hours to do this in a walk so uh maybe we'll do a couple of walking videos at some point around here too there's there's a few stores i really like down here there's a pink gorilla which is a retro gaming store i've talked about that is also in the chinatown and international district and they also have one in the university district uh, Cedars Indian food is pretty good. I actually have not been there for quite a few years, so I'm not sure if it's still open or not, to be honest. So that might be something worth checking out. And then Thai Tom, this little hole-in-the-wall Thai place that we used to go to a lot when we were younger. Super good Thai food. So those are some of the things I think of right away. So we also have University Hospital here, and University Hospital would be just straight down from here. University of Washington Hospital. So one of our top hospitals in the state. It also ties in with Harborview Hospital, which is our level one trauma center for the area. Being an EMT, working on the ambulance, I've spent a lot of time transporting patients to all sorts of different hospitals all around this area. So know the hospitals and how to get around them pretty well. And, uh, Seattle is where all our major hospitals are. So for anyone with uh, major specialty needs there's a good chance they're gonna end up down in Seattle scary thing is if we have a major disaster like they always talk about a major earthquake anything like that really Seattle could be cut off from the rest of the state and uh, they've been saying that we're due for a major earthquake for pretty much the entire time I've been alive so we've had a few earthquakes here nothing that I would call catastrophic but just little rumblings and things that uh Make people think oh man so we'll see uh how that happens but 
it, it is definitely something where it's talked about on the emergency management side of what are we going to do if that happens you know you're going to be a lot more you're going to be a lot more responsible for your local hospitals and trying to find ways to help people um, that are going to be hard to get to because we just have our terrain here is really hilly got a lot of bridges just a lot of things might not be accessible so it will be a not good day for everyone in EMS, emergency medical services, when that happens. And hopefully it never does, but I think at some point, based on what they say with how our plates are and what it is, we are well overdue for that to happen. All right, so University Hospital, University of Washington Hospital is on our left, but we are gonna go to our right here and get back on the AV, and we're just gonna head right up the AV, take a look at it. No, no right turn on red, so we're gonna wait. So, I'm gonna try. I am gonna try to see if I can end this video at Husky Stadium and getting the University of Washington Hospital in there. If we can somehow finagle that, uh, I will try. We're at six minutes and 30 seconds right now so maybe I will uh, edit this a little bit to make it easier maybe I'll cut a part out if I have to or I do have some extra batteries so we'll, we'll see but uh, I'd like to get it all on one one take alright so we're heading down University Way right now so just tons and tons of restaurant options here Lots of food. We used to go to a bar called the College Inn, which was down some stairs and in the basement of this place. I remember going there a few times. I did not see it, so my buddy Mark said it was still here, but I, I have not seen it, so we'll see. We'll see if we end up seeing it. So you'll probably hear me say this in other videos as well. What you'll notice about when it's raining here is locals do not use umbrellas. So if you want to point yourself out as being a tourist or somebody that's not from the area, use an umbrella. If you are local, pretty much do not use an umbrella. That's just part of the Seattle way. We, we do get a lot of rain, but that rain is more of a sprinkle, not a major downpour. So we just wear our jet coats and kind of deal with it. All right, so now we're coming into all the shops, all the food options. Big Time Brewery, that's a pretty popular place for beer. And just, yeah, of course there's a Starbucks. I would recommend if you're in Seattle, try and go somewhere other than Starbucks. There's so many options for coffee. Starbucks is one of those places where if you want your consistent, good quality cup of coffee, you know it's gonna be the same every time. I personally think the coffee's a little burnt. I'm acquired to that taste, so it doesn't bother me, but there are definitely better options. I've checked out this cafe on the Ave. Pretty good, I liked it. Bulldog News on our right here. All right, so you're gonna find tons of Euro places on here. Um, my favorite is Aladdin's, and I've noticed there's a couple of places now called Aladdin's. I don't know if they're tied in together, but um, yeah. That was, that was my favorite when I was younger and being on that. And so we're on 40, we're just coming up on 43rd right now. Not too many people out today. The weather isn't the best for sure. And as you can see, if you're looking around, I don't see much umbrellas yet. So people are just dealing with the rain like we always do. There are some people that just wear shorts year round. Um, I used to be able to do that. Nowadays, not so much. Nowadays, definitely. University bookstore here on our right. And pink gorilla video games. 
Import Retro Gaming is on our left here. Really cool store if you want to just kind of get some retro feel and just kind of a unique, different experience from your normal gaming store. They actually sell new games as well, but they definitely specialize in used games. If you go there, you can't buy games from them online. They actually try and keep it so that it's for the locals here. You have to actually go into the store to buy their games. And that way their selection is just much better than somebody that just sells them to whoever wants them online. They're, they're a pretty good place to check out. So Target on the app. I did not know there was a Target on the app. I don't know when that went in, but that's definitely something new. That's nice for the students that are down here. Kind of cool to see. So some, somewhere around here is also Tai Tom. Oh, there's Tai Tom right here. So you ever go to Tai Tom, it's, it's just a little tiny narrow hole in the wall type place. Great food, highly recommend it. We're also passing Wild Bubble Tea on our left. Used to go there all the time for bubble tea. Uh, I thought bubble tea was the grossest thing until my wife actually forced me to try it. And once I actually tried it, I was like, this is actually pretty good. So she got me hooked. My recommendation, taro bubble tea. Do not skip the tapioca, get the tapioca. It's it's weird, it takes a while to get used to, but I, now it's something that I will always get. Taro is definitely my favorite choice. All right, so we're kind of coming on to the end of the main part of the strip that I would be on. Uh, I think of Jack the Box is basically the end, which Jack the Box is coming up here on our left. So we're gonna flip back around. We're gonna go through, there's a pizza place. I don't know if it's still there, but there is a pizza place that we used to order pizza at like three o'clock in the morning. And uh, it was like the after, having a good night, drinking, and then get something greasy in you before you went to sleep. So I assume that's still there. I don't think college kids have changed much since my time in college, but you never know. So we're gonna keep going this way. And then we'll flip around onto uh, 45th if we can. So we're gonna actually take a ride on 15th here. And then we'll go into UW and take a look at the campus. It's a beautiful campus. Uh, quite a bit of my family went to college there. And we'll see if we can get in there okay. 45th might tell us that we need to take a different street. So we'll see what we uh, get told on 45th. But we're real close to the college. So, last driving video is pretty popular. Uh, if this is something you guys like, please let me know. Give me a subscribe, give me a like, give me a comment on what you'd like to see more of. Just gives me a better idea of what you're more interested in seeing. Driving videos are kind of fun. It gives me an ability to show you a little bit more stuff. Downside is I can't really control my camera angles. I can't really stop and look at stuff. So, looking at these ones is a little bit more of me talking and telling you about stuff and maybe you guys can get a feel for the area if you're new to the area or you just want to know what it looks like because it's been a long time since you've been in there and you want to refresh yourself or look back on what's changed since the last time you were here it's good for me too because it gives me a reason to come out and check things out that i haven't looked at in a while so we're gonna get flipped around here and we are pretty much going straight into campus. Also curious where you guys are all from. If you guys are local, if you're from out of state, out of country, uh, my analytics so far have not given me much information so I'll be, be curious who's watching and where people are coming from or how it helps or doesn't help. Come on, buddy. There you go. It's not really how you're supposed to turn, but okay. Uh, Seattle drivers are not the best drivers, by the way. And it doesn't matter if it's raining or sunshine. You would think we're good in the rain. If it hasn't rained for a while and it rains, they get real bad at driving. 
if it gets sunny after it's been raining for a while all of a sudden they don't know how to drive in the sun so <laughs> you don't really uh you really don't know what you're gonna get and then if we get snow people don't understand that with all our hills and conditions we just don't have the capabilities of dealing with snow very well so unless you have a four-wheel SUV or you have chains um, really trying to get around in snow is not a good idea if you don't know how to drive in it all right so we're coming into UW campus we're gonna take a left here and go by some of the dorms and uh, yeah, just let you guys kind of see all that there is to see that is you know it is a cool campus with lots of cool architecture and old buildings and new it's a, it's a great campus so let's try and uh, I think we're making pretty decent time so far so yeah try and see what we people out looking at the cherry blossoms for sure it's a Sunday so I think this is a chance for people to get out and take a look so I can't remember the exact number of cherry blossoms but the square has something like 25 or 29 cherry blossoms and it's a pretty cool view when you see it so highly recommend checking it out if you're gonna be here in March it's typically the third week in March that they bloom and they have a team dedicated just to making sure that they stay healthy and taking care of them year-round along with everything else that's on the ground so something to think about checking out if you're down here all right so we're gonna make a couple turns so here's some of the dorms that have been here well longer than I've been alive and then further on the north end a newer dorm that uh, I'm not sure when it was built, but definitely not as old as the one that we just passed. So, alright. So hopefully I can get a good view of that. I'm going to flip around here, because we are not going to go down there. trying to get my wife to come out today but she was not having it I think she wasn't happy that it was gonna be raining so maybe if we luck out and it's not raining we'll come back here next week because I wouldn't love for our kiddos to see all this but it is a uh, it's work trying to take two kids somewhere and make sure they're not getting into anything and rain and cold and lots and lots of people make it a little bit harder We go down here to the left that'll get us really close to U Village and Stadium and stuff like that. But we're gonna try and just get one big circle around the campus just so you guys can take a peek and see everything that I can show you. I'm actually surprised how many buses I have seen today. There's a ton of buses running in today thought there would be a little less on a Sunday, but definitely quite a few. Right. So the two big colleges in our state are University of Washington and University State. So the Huskies are on our side of the mountains and in Seattle and then the Cougs are on the eastern side of our state and they're over by Spokane and there's definitely a big rivalry every year there's the Apple Cup for football football teams and that's the last game of the regular season for them and every year there's just a huge showing of support for that so it's either played here in Washington at UW or at Washington State and typically, most recently, UW has been coming out on top more 
I think this last year, if I remember correctly, I think Washington State actually did win, which was the first time in a while, I think. I am not a huge college football fan. I'm more of a Seahawks fan and NFL fan. It's just, when you get into the college sports, there's just so many teams, it's hard to keep track of them all. So, typically follow Seahawks. And when we had the Sonics, that was probably my favorite team, so it was really hard when we lost the Sonics. But they keep saying we're going to get the Sonics back. We'll see. I, I don't know if I believe them. We do have a new arena. It's the Climate Pledge Arena, and we got our, NF our NHL team because of it, and the Kraken. And to be honest, I have not watched any of the games yet. I've only been to the stadium to see a comedy show when Jacoy came into town month or two ago which was great but other than that we uh, mostly not been to the new arena for anything other than that so it has a, it's only been open for two or three months so it's not not like it's been open all that much all right let's take a look down here yeah so it's just a very very pretty campus Hopefully this is giving you a good idea. I was hoping I could get you a sneak peek of uh, the square, but I don't think we're going to be able to. All right, we made that turn. Didn't have to do anything. Outside of campus for a second, flip around. Unfortunately, these lights are very long. And apparently, I can't turn on red, so a little bit of white. Tell you what, driving through the downtown, going over the avenue and everything, I am definitely craving for some Thai food now. Kinda wish I had got food. of 
U Village, which is the outdoor mall we were talking about. And I think we're going to have time where we're going to be able to swing by Husky Stadium as well. And the other thing is Greek Rose here on our left. So that is something else to check out. You'll be able to see a few of them here on the 45th. You know what? We'll, we'll just swing down there. It won't take too long to get a couple streets of these houses in. It's always amazing. You look in the outside and they look beautiful. They look nice. And I can remember when you get in the inside of them, you're just like, oh man, yeah, they're pretty trashed. So, a bunch of college students hanging out, partying, having a good time. Not necessarily there to take care of the buildings all that much. So, frats and sororities. make this a quick, quick tour of them. That gives you an idea. I know a couple of them have been delisted over the years and removed from being part of Greek Row for controversies. So that's always something interesting. If you want to learn more, you can always go and look it up. Construction too, so they've been, they've been doing some work down here. So frat on our right here used to be a frat and that is one of the ones I believe that got its uh, fraternity taken away. I had a buddy that was in that one and I can't remember what happened but something happened where they basically lost it. So that whole building, I don't know if you can see any of that from the video, was uh, in the process of being renovated it looked like. So I don't know if that means something else as far as a frat is going to go in there or if they're just going to turn it into something else. All right, so U Village here is gonna be on our left. It is a pretty cool outdoor mall. This time of year, it's not the most fun place to go because it's kind of cold and rainy, soggy weather. But summertime, this area is pretty packed. Honestly, even this time of year, there seems to be quite a few people down here. We brought the kids down here. They have uh, under, under covered, covered area more kids to play so I've definitely seen the use for it even even outside of summertime but summer and fall time is probably the most popular so this is Montlake Boulevard that we're turning on to and this area mostly is going to be stadium U Village Seattle Children's Hospital, if you keep heading north, is going to be down there. So, specialty needs for kids, that's where you're going to end up. And they have actually some campuses throughout. They have ones on the east side, up in Everett, and quite a few other areas as well. But if your kid's real sick or needs specialty care, they're probably going to end up here in Seattle. Yeah, we are actually not making too bad time. So, Battery is probably going to die on me in about 15 minutes, so I think we're going to make it. If our traffic lights will cooperate with us, I guess. So 
So we're gonna try something different with this video. Um, and you guys will already know it because the video will be playing, but I'm gonna have a picture inside the car in, the, in one of the corners, and then the video of what I'm capturing outside of the car as the main picture. We'll see how well that works, how well it syncs up. If it works and you guys like it, uh, that'll be how I'll do it going forward. Otherwise, I'll just record audio and keep everything on just the picture of what we're looking at. All right, so welcome to U Village. Let's see if we can go down a couple of these streets and show you what I'm seeing. Like I said, the downside to filming on the car is I'm not controlling the camera other than how I'm pointing it. It's actually pretty busy today. It is a Sunday, so I guess we should expect that. Got lots of people out. There's an umbrella. There you go, there's one person with an umbrella. But for the most part, us Seattleites, we do not believe in umbrellas. Just it's just one more thing to worry about. Kind of a hassle. You know? And you just you never know. You know, it might be raining this hour and then not raining the next. Now you got an umbrella that you gotta deal with. It's just easier not to deal with that. Molly Moon's ice cream here on our left. Pretty popular ice cream place. Not my favorite in particular, but there is quite the following for Molly Moon's ice cream. All right. Shake Shack. It's, a, it's decent. We went there. Gosh, probably about six months ago. I was a little shocked by how much we spent for four burgers, a couple shakes, a couple drinks, and a couple fries. I think we spent like $70. I'm just like, oh my gosh. But that's the reality. Everything's going up. So I, I guess it shouldn't surprise me too much. All right, we're going to let this person go. There's a uh, pizza place in the corner over here. Can't remember the name of it. We got a deep dish there, and it was pretty good. I think it's like a deep dish specialty pizza place. We're pretty happy with it. Delfino's. Yeah, that's where we went. There's a few more umbrellas. a quick idea of you village and we're gonna pop out outside of it I believe I can get turned around over here so we're gonna try that uh, you know what we're gonna come back go back through this way traffic doesn't seem too bad might just work out perfect.
years ago this park that's straight in front of us we used to do ultimate disc golf or not ultimate disc ultimate frisbee i don't know if they still do that or not but uh yeah something to check out if you're interested in that they may still have leak stuff going on down there i did recently go do dodgeball again for the first time in forever up in Capitol Hill, and apparently they have been doing dodgeball for decades there. So they used to do it when I was younger, and it was still a thing today. So we're going to go up to take a look at uh, the Husky Stadium. Parking is here on our left, and the stadium will be on our left. Hopefully the GoPro will pick up some of the stadium here. But yeah, it's kind of a cool stadium. So. One of the things that's special about this stadium is you can actually bring your boat right up to the stadium, park your boat and go to the games. And, uh, it's kind of a unique thing. You'll actually see people with their boats coming in and you know, hanging out and people do all their tailgating here as well. So this is where the stadium is. Let's see if I can somehow get a quick shot if I can revolve. Flip a UE if we can. Let's see. Uh, no, that's not going to work. Alright, well, hopefully you were able to see some of it. Uh, maybe this summer, this fall when games are going on, we'll, we'll make a point of trying to come down here to show you a bit of it. Actually, you know what? We're going to go by. I wonder if we can make this work. So we're going to finish this video going by the hospital, the University of Washington Hospital. And I'll see if I can get turned around and facing towards the stadium to end the video. So we'll try and do that. Because we are right there. So anyhow, if you guys enjoyed this, if you want to see more of this content, let me know. Like and subscribe, and uh, I will keep on updating. We'll see what you like. Uh, there's another thing that's kind of cool. So off in the distance, there's actually a drawbridge that goes up. So when real big boats need to get through from the water to like Washington, and uh, they basically have a drawbridge that comes up right here. Let people through. I have not seen that drawbridge go up in years, but kind of a kind of a cool, unique thing. Come on, buddy. All right. Apparently, we have an abandoned vehicle or something. I don't know. That's interesting, there is no one in that car. Interesting, okay. Well, that explains why uh, traffic got backed up a little bit there. All right, so University of Washington Hospital right there. picture of the stadium here you see a little bit of it and I lied to you we're gonna go over the drawbridge to finish out the video we have just enough time left on this to make it happen so there you go beat up stadium a little bit of U Village the Ave UW College and we will Head over the bridge. There's quite a bit of traffic today.
of cars just messing up traffic all over the place. It's interesting they would just abandon their car. No emergency hazards or anything. Oh, we might not capture it. Hey guys, the end of the video cut out. Thanks for watching. If this is something you're liking, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think below. All right, you guys have a good night.